Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today we're checking out the Xstar MX4. Now, Xstar are one of the leading brands in battery chargers. Greetings from Shenzhen. Now, Shenzhen is like the Silicon Valley of China and they, their slogan is quality innovation. But what is cool here is they got over a million satisfied users and their factory, more about, they care about their team. And they have released their most versatile battery charger. I've got it set up right here. Check it out. It's USB powered, which means I'm using a travel adapter. It's a travel battery. Plug in over there, USB. And what's great about it is you don't need to worry about the kind of battery you're using or the brands. In my old charger, I needed to always charge two at a time, two batteries at a time. And it had to be from the same brand. Otherwise, it would mess up and not work. Whereas these guys, as you see, I've got a AAA over here. I've charged these guys up. I've got a double A. I'm even charge, charging up a non-rechargeable battery. Good thing about it, it came over an error code for that one. So more safer than a normal charger. And look, what's, what's the big chunky one? This is a lithium iron 3.6 volt battery. It's an 18650. Now these guys, one day in the future, I'm going to get a bunch of these and make my own power. <laughs> power. I'll put it on a boat, do something cool like that. But in the meantime, check it out right now. I'm actually charging up the batteries. It's got lots of different modes in there. So right now it's flashing red. That means it's trying to detect the kind of battery it's in there. That process takes about 10 minutes and it figures out the right voltage and all that kind of nice stuff to do. And then it'll start charging up. Solid red means it's charging when it turns green. And that means it is done. Look at that, I've got a AAA battery there. Just squeeze it in there. Boom, shake it. And everything is just, it's just happening over here. And I'm excited that it works. Make sure what you do, that's a good jump. Make sure what you do, go around the back and check out that code that you got over there to make sure you got a genuine one because you can go on their website and realize if you got a fake one or a real one. Right at the bottom of their page, you go into anti-fake. So this anti-fake, you put your security code in there and they verify if you got a real one or a dodgy one. Fakes get refunded and real ones, those are the ones you want to get. You don't want to mess around with chargers because bad stuff can happen, especially if you mess around with lithium iron. Next are they are one of the leading brands in the space, so they do some intelligent calculations to make sure that they can charge the lithium iron batteries. I know if they get overcharged, if they get undercharged, they have a problem recovering them, whereas this guy has a recovery mode and all the kind of nice stuff that you want from a luxurious, versatile battery charger. All right, so this is the X-Star MX4 and it's presented as the most versatile battery charge you can get because not only does it support the normal basic nickel metal hydrate, lithium iron, but it also supports lithium iron phosphate. Check this out all in one solution. These are all the stats, AAA, AA, all these kind of big numbers over here. This is gonna be the most versatile charger you can get. Inside the box, you get a USB-A to USB-C because this is actually powered by USB. Boom, check it out. Look right there, and we got some nice, woes. Got some nice meaty batteries over here to test it out on. These are the X-Star rechargeable 18650s, 3.6 volts, and it's got 12, almost 13 watt hours, 500 cycles. We're gonna be testing these out as well as the regular gel batteries that you get in the shops. The one thing you do need to know about this is that there is a switch right here. Lithium iron phosphate and the normal lithium iron and nickel metal hydrate batteries over there. By default, it's flicked up to the top. Now, I don't know what happens if you try charging a normal battery on this setting. We'll, we'll find out, I'll do a test. They support low voltage battery recovery. So you have issues with your batteries, you can try fixing it up there. Smart battery recognition. So basically there is no indicator over here what kind of battery you're gonna put in. When you put the battery in there, it flashes red when it's detecting. It takes a few seconds usually to find out. We'll show you in the demonstration. And then once it's detected the kind of battery, it will charge it the best way it can. If you look close up, the middle two ports, they're up to 0.5 amps and the wider ports, they are up to one amp. So um, it doesn't really make a difference if you're charging the basic batteries you get, but if you want faster charging, you can play around with that. And look what it says, it's intelligent charge and it timely stop when fully charged. So it will stop automatically, you don't need to worry about that. And it's got multiple protection mechanisms. So it's one of the top brands you can get and they're actually insured by the People's Republic of China's insurance company. I'm gonna go for the lithium phosphate, <laughs> lithium iron phosphate. I'm gonna see what happens when I try struggling, plugging in an oil battery. Hopefully there'll be an error message. That's what I'm thinking. And just to be super cute, I'm gonna be using, look at this, it's a, a battery. A battery to run the battery charger. So we're gonna be training out this battery to charge some batteries. It's cool. So plug this bad boy in, boom, turn it on. And look at that. 
using a battery to charge a battery charger to go to a battery. I think it's pretty cool. I'm sure you do. So I've got all sorts of batteries over here. I've got some energizers. These are triple A's. Let's just plug that guy in and we can see it's red. That means it's still detecting the kind of battery it is. So I'll get it right there. Green to slowly flashing red should detect it within 10 minutes. So I'm going to be doing the bad thing. I'm going to be mixing battery brands. So with my normal charger, I can't mix. This is a Coles. They don't longer make these with an energizer. Oh, that's what's going to happen. It should be okay because they're all independent charger ports. I'm also going to do a double bad thing. Now this is a non rechargeable battery. I'm going to see if the safety mechanisms are okay. Now I don't recommend you guys doing this at home because of explosions. But yeah, let's see what that does. Hopefully after 10 minutes, it will say it's a bad battery. And finally, just to make it super interesting, I've got a lithium iron battery. Oh, this is a nice one. 18650s. I kind of want to make a big battery bank now. Make my own Tesla power one of these. But let's plug that in and see what happens. And so after 10 minutes, it is all set up and going. So you see that the AAA battery is actually fully charged. So no need to worry about that. The non-rechargeable, look at that. It was blinking, flashing red, which means there is an error message. That's good. It means it's not going to charge up non-rechargeable batteries. You can see the AAA, that one is fully charged. Red means that one's charging the AA. And the uh, lithium iron is actually, says it's green, charged. Now, if you look in the manual, it says that the lithium iron phosphate mode supports lithium iron phosphate batteries, 1.5 volt lithium ions and um, nickel metal hydrates, but it doesn't support 3.6 volt lithium ions so for that 3.6 to charge you actually need to switch to the lithium iron nickel metal hydrate mode and as you can see the battery i'm using is a 3.6 volt so it says it's fully charged but if i switch over to the correct mode it goes solid red which means it's actually charging so yeah that's pretty cool that you know it does not try to overcharge it in the wrong mode. Maybe you probably don't need that switch if you can figure it out, but maybe because of all the intricacies of lithium ion batteries, it's good to have that switch for safety reasons. So if you aren't charging your lithium ion battery, you might be in the wrong mode, but that's really an edge case. But the great thing about that I found is that it didn't charge the non-rechargeable battery. So that is a really good maneuver. That's good, good for safety, happy about that. So let me know what kind of battery charges you guys are using out there in the world. And what do you think of this one, the MX4? Very light, very small, USB powered, almost dropped it. Looks pretty cool. Hope you guys found this video useful and enjoy the show.